Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to continue. The fungus, fungi, whatever frenzy event. Now it's Act 4 today. Just checking, I have one wish. Before I start that. Nah, four star. Not five. And it's a weapon, Alama. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> and <laughs> to make one more loop. Here we go. I forgot to change. Back to English. What were you saying, Pokemon? Yeah, go on. Alright. Teleport there, why I forgot? <laughs> Hardy two blades, all right. Um, Geo Pyro Hydro Electro Geo, huh? Hmm. Pyro attack or pyro defense. Animal and probably need electro as well or cryo. So I can freeze. Okay. Hope this one is easier. I doubt it. What's your problem? The way you don't on your fungi, it's pathetic! What a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all, the mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Okay. Bring it on. Oh, let me just take that one down. Do this one. In the high one here. Oh shit. Phew. Okay, good. Alright, I think 
Last time I was careless. Go on, finish them. Nice. <laughs> Okay, that's done. It has to be, uh, I think Hania is gonna be our final opponent. It's either the second uh, semi final or the final. Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. That's oh, yeah, Leila, so. Lila also going we're going to almost the semi-final and final. What if <laughs> I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? Mm. It's just that oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah. Somehow, beast tumors like him make me feel a little uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would hmm. feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Uh. Not sure if Hania is also the same thing, but Hania... It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Leila. Mm -hmm. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less blue. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. <laughs> oh, it looks like the next fight is you against Oh, it is against Leila. Let's Whoa. just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't, doesn't matter, matter yeah. who wins. This is just a little contest between friends. <laughs> Alright, time to see who's the strongest fungi. Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head. Loser by dinner for the winner. Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko, you're back. Finally. You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um. Um. Evidently. <laughs> We have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. <laughs> I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. Oh. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, So Miko all. is... Uh... uh against uh Hania. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Yeah. Miss Yai has to face so is it off four against Hania. Left? Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. Eh, whatever. Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. Well, probably Miko might lose if we are actually facing Hania. <laughs> So, participate in the semi finals. Okay, hold on, before that. I think I'm the same. Yeah, this same. Well I need to check a few people. Hmm. The sponsor source of funds still needs looking into. Is there anyone else around here that I can check? I want to check a few people. There's also some here. Oh, Angela Nadesh, the first opponent. <laughs>
How come we only got one shot at this? Yeah. <laughs> Even have voices, you know. You don't have Nahida, Nahida, you won't get to hear this. <laughs> but when you talk with him, there's no voice. <laughs> Usually, if there's no voice, I don't really want to read. <laughs> Is this what I wish I could take part in the competition too. Why did I have to be born with zero natural talent for base taming? Is that all? Well, I think that's all right now. Let's just continue. Semi finals. Layla, oh boy. <laughs> Twirly whirly. Uh Cryo, huh? Mm. Is that uh, Twirly World is the animal. This one is? What's the animal as well? The one I didn't... Oh, it's a heel. Oh, okay. So it's a hydro then. Maybe I'll bring two pyro and... Dendro? Yeah. That should be good. Let's go. Oh, well, spar with Layla. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Actually, badly. I'm feeling nervous. But excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already. And they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! <laughs> Let's go. This one. Charlie, quick, do the thing. The wind oh vortex. shit. The wind vortex. Use your happy, clappy water balloon, Bogglehead. Excuse me. <laughs> Shot that one. Nice. You might need to heal right there. Oh, maybe not. Should be fine. Okay. Okay. Two down. Huh? Okay. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> so far, Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. <laughs> Any other opponent, and we might be feeling a little disappointed hey. right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well, too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. That's how Pokemon is. They just do their thing. <laughs> how competition should be. every match could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Let's see. <clears throat> there is another egg tomorrow, right? So how will this end up? It has to be the finals tomorrow. Can't be today. Eh? Let's see. <laughs> and I assume... What's going on? Over two? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. Who won? You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? I think Miko might lost now. <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as far you from could a get. Close call? All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I. Was it really that easy for Miko? To be beaten by Hania. To be beaten. Ah, <laughs> so Hania actually won. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, hmm. but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. Deceiving herself, defenses... You mean... Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro 1, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you! Right answer. Okay. Now's our chance to get through to her. So... You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now! Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. Where she's gone to? The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Yeah. Layla, it seems like you're on to... Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight! You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. <laughs> uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well... What are you waiting for, I'm little one? 
Is everything we dug up so far? Please take a look and see what you Oh, okay. Oh! My, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my <laughs> thoughts the next time we meet. Alright, go to the place mentioned in the conversation. Just to set, check where uh, where is Miko and Leila already gone. Uh, that bit. I see everything. Never would have thought that happy little girl would grow up to become so formidable. Who? Okay, Henry, let's go there. Was it here? I thought it was somewhere else. <laughs> Since we use elemental side. I think we found her. How did you find me here? We follow Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. I want to understand where you're coming from. I want to help you see the fungi differently. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Hmm? Uh, day 10 of the Fungi Invasion. Okay, day 42 of the Fungi Invasion. Fight the Fungi, stopped by the farmers. Uh -huh. These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi pose to us. Mm -hmm. So, that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. Yeah! And anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together! It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But something can go wrong. Like the dream in the story quest of uh, Nahida. <laughs> but every one of them failed, gave up and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. That's true, I guess. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea. Especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a Wisdom Orb, you're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Unnaturally strong. Wait, Lila's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? 
Ve? Did I miss that? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested, invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. Really? It's time to say goodbye to the past. That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hania in the final match! Yeah. Day 7 of the investigation. Planning to use some kind of capturing device to control the aggressive fungi. The code name? A string of complete terminology. The withering potion to suppress the fungi's activity. What? Fill with complex terms and comments, okay? Day 13. We fail again. Two seriously wounded mercenaries insist on quitting. One of them tried to convince the lead researcher to give up on the withering potion. Uh huh, okay. Withering potion? These look like research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section <laughs> looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms! Paimon can't make heads or tails of this! Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right! We saw them on the documents Dory gave us! Hmm, put everything together? Alright, let's put them side by side, go through carefully, and try to figure out what's written in these notes! The device remnants and the remains of the files that Dory gave you contain the same license of approval as the device recorded in the notes. Identical to the academia. The formula for floral jelly shares many basic ingredients and medicinal support to the withering potion from the notes. The difference is the amount of certain active ingredients applied is lower than the withering potion. Protective ingredients and so-called stabilizers were added. Remnants of the instrument that the organizer the Nalapala attempted to destroy the utilized the technology. Uh -huh. A capturing device and a withering potion. The device used to capture and make them calm and approachable, but the withering potion made them go berserk. Hmm. Why was it why was there a withering potion? Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of hmm. the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Cautilia's invention either, then he's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own. He's a big fat liar. <laughs> why is Cautilia so eager to get people to use the wisdom orb anyway? Finish the work started by scholars that went before him. He just wants to take credit for other people's work. Hmm. We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop big ruling Caltilia right away. As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Hmm? 
Oh, what? What happened? Yeah, the wisdom or isn't active. Did we activate it back? Let's keep a safe distance from them now. Let's look for ways to improve the wisdom. Yeah, it's a shame, hmm. but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Caltilia to the academia? We don't know why he's capable. We also don't want to let him know we're onto him. I think that's the end of Act 4, yes. So Act 5 is the final and then we expose them. <laughs> but then what do we do after that? Alright, that's done. Act 4 is done. Oh yeah, I haven't done this. Eh? This one's tomorrow. This one I haven't done, so okay. Alright guys, uh, I think that's it for part 4, act 4. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.